Welcome! This tutorial will teach you to effectively manage Dalhousie University records using the DAL class classification structure and following four simple steps. The four steps for managing records at Dalhousie University are as follows. 1. Identify the records as university records using the DAL class classification structure. 2. File and maintain the records. 3. Retain the records for the length of time specified in the appropriate DAL class classification as outlined in the retention instructions. 4. Disposition of the records according to instruction in the records retention schedule. Following these four steps will ensure that all university records are effectively identified, classified, and filed, retained for the appropriate length of time, and dispositioned correctly. Now, let's look at each of these steps in more detail. Step 1. Identify the records as university records using the DAL class classification structure. Here at Dalhousie University, the DAL class is our classification structure. We use DAL class to identify what records are considered university records. When dealing with records, refer to the DAL class framework. If the records pertain to one of the primary business functions covered by DAL class, the records are university records. The primary DAL class business functions are as follows. Administration. Records relating to the day-to-day -day management and operation of university units and departmental offices. Campus services. Records relating to the management of various services and resources offered to members of the university and the wider community. External relations and communications. Records relating to the reputation of the university, promoting the university's mission, departments and programs, developing effective external and internal relations, disseminating information, and expanding resources. Facilities and property. Records relating to the management of the university's facilities and property. Finance. Records relating to the management of the university and departmental financial matters. Governance. Records relating to the self-governance of the university and units as organizations. Health and safety. Records relating to the provision of services and programs to ensure the well-being of the university community. Human resources. Records relating to the management of staff, faculty, and related services and programs. Information management and technology. Records relating to the management of university information technology and information assets. Research. Records relating to the development of knowledge that provides insight into the scientific, economic, social, and cultural issues affecting the world. Students. Records relating to the documentation of students' academic history and provision of support services to students. Teaching and learning. Records relating to the provision of instruction and operation of academic programs. Do the records you're dealing with fall into one of these primary business functions? If so, you will need to continue on with the next three steps. Step 2. File and maintain the records. Once you have identified the records as the university records, you can use DAL class to correctly classify and manage the records. DAL class has a hierarchical structure. The main business functions discussed in Step 1 are subdivided into related classes consisting of activities, tasks, and transactions. Some record classes are simple. For example, campus services, food services. Other record classes are more complex. For example, external relations and communications, alumni and advancement, fund development. Classify and file the record based on the lowest possible level of the hierarchy. Step three, retain the records for the length of time specified in the appropriate records retention schedule. Each records class outlines the length of time the records are required to be retained. This retention describes how long records are to be kept and what is to be done with them when they no longer are required by a unit. Using the records class you identified in step two, refer to the appropriate records retention schedule. Step four, dispositioning of the records or the secure destruction or transferred to archival storage according to instruction in the records retention schedule. The appropriate records retention schedule will also provide instructions for properly dispositioning of records. 
After you've determined how long to keep the records in step three, make sure to take note of the proper method for dispositioning of the records class. Should the records be securely destroyed or transferred to the university archives to be preserved? The records retention schedule for each class of records provides an answer to this question. By using the DAL class classification structure and following these four steps, you will ensure that Dalhousie University records are appropriately and effectively managed. If you have questions related to records management at Dalhousie or for more information, consult the records management website at www.libraries.dal.ca slash find slash university dash archives slash records dash management dot html where you can refer to the policy proper procedures and helpful tools like dial class you can also contact the records management office via email at dalrm at dal.ca thanks for watching for subject guides live help other online tutorials and contact information for the five dalhousie libraries check out the links in the description below